Hi, I'm Kentucky Metro from GeoMetroForum.com. I'm going to show you how to set the timing on a G10 three-cylinder engine. Let's have a look at the tools we're going to need. To set the timing on this engine, the only tools you really need are a timing light, a Torx 45 screwdriver, and a paper clip. The connector we're looking for is here against the firewall. We're going to remove it, take the cap off, and now you see that there are six positions. The one on the upper left has no metal connector inside it. The ones that we need a jumper are here on the lower left and the lower center. I took a paper clip and I bent it into a U-shape. This will serve to jumper the terminals. Now I'm going to put it in the two terminals that I mentioned. The first time requires a pretty good push, but after that they get easier to work with. So you can see that's the lower left and lower center terminals. Now let's move on to the timing light. In order to connect a timing light, you need to follow the ends of the wires. It has two wires coming out of it. One wire ends in a black and a red alligator clip, which go onto the battery terminals. The other wire ends in a specialized spark plug clip, which goes around the spark plug wire. This allows the timing light to sense when to turn the light on. You want to make sure that it's on number one. Use the Torx screwdriver to loosen the top and bottom bolts holding the distributor in place. Here and down here. Now we're ready to start the engine. <laughs> I am aiming the timing light at the pulley, the lower one at the base of the timing belt cover. Pressing the button, you can see where the mark sits. may be hard to see this on the video because the strobe timing light doesn't always line up perfectly with the frame rate of the camera. But anyway, you get the general idea. You're seeing a mark, it is against a scale, and you want it to be right at the number 8 mark, which is the mark before the 10. What you'll do is adjust the distributor until you get it exactly on that mark. You're going to turn it one way or the other. If you turn it towards the driver, you will advance the timing. That means you will have a higher number. It will go more towards the 10 or even the 20. If you turn it towards the front of the car, you will have a retarded timing, which will bring it towards zero. If you did not jumper the wire, you will get a, a timing reading more like this. I'm about to unplug the wire. Now it's up around almost 20. I'd say that's 16 degrees advanced timing right now. That's why we have to jumper that one connector. It tells the computer not to do anything. Once you've got the distributor properly set, tighten the torque screws back down, disconnect everything, take the jumper wire out, and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video on setting the timing on a G10 three-cylinder engine. Thanks.